what's up? It's your girl, Alicia. Listen, I want to say to some of you, many of you have been going through a spirit of depression. You have hit hard times. You have gone through so much in your life. And that thing that you have gone through, it just won't release you. It won't let you go. You don't even know how to overcome it. All you know is that you're tired. You're tired of going through the same stuff. You're tired of hearing the same things we play in your mind. You're tired of having to endure all of the hurt and the pain all over again. You're just fed up. But I want to tell you that Jesus is saying to you, take up your mat and walk. Pick up your bed and walk. What am I saying? In the Bible, um, I want to say it was John chapter 5. The book talks about, the Bible talks about how Jesus, there was a man, there was a certain man. The Bible didn't say what kind of man, but the Bible says that there was a certain man who was sick. He had been sick for 38 years. And the Bible says that th there was a pool that was surrounding in Jerusalem. There was a pool and the Bible says that it had five porches and what would happen the angel of the Lord will come and stir up the water and as the angel of the Lord came to stir up the water the Bible says that whenever the angel stirred up the water that the angel told the people see what we must understand that there were all types of people who was laying in those porches who was laying there they were sick they were paralyzed they were blind they had all sorts of ailments the bible says that while they were lay laying there the angel of the lord came at a certain time at a specific time and the angel came and stirred up the water and as the angel stirred up the water the people who were were laying on that porch the bible says that the angel said to the people whoever gets in first you shall be healed but see what happened was jesus was standing around and he was standing with the the man who had been sick with this ailment of 38 years again this was a certain man we're not sure what type of man this was but all we know is that he was a man who was sick for 38 years the bible says that jesus knew that this man had been sick for a long time not for a short period of time but a long time and while God my God when Jesus saw that this man was sick he asked this man do you want to be made whole the man said I have nobody to pick me up and put me in this water <laughs> Woo! y'all gotta understand see the angel stirred up the gift the gift of healing the angel stirred up the gift the the gift of deliverance the angel stirred up the gift the gift that would make these people whole my god y'all gotta catch this you guys need to catch this. See what Jesus is saying. Jesus is saying that in order for you to receive your healing, in order for you to receive your deliverance, see the gift of the Holy Ghost got to be stirred up. Get this y'all. My God, Jesus told the man, he said, you know what? Take up your mat and you are healed. Walk and you are healed. See what we must understand that we don't need, woo, we don't need other my God, we don't need other people to lay their hands on us so that we can receive healing and deliverance. See, the healing, your healing, your deliverance is in... <laughs> is in your stirring up of the spirit your healing your delivering is in that who oh, jesus is in your prayer your healings and your deliverance my god is in jesus so when you call upon the name of jesus the bible says that every knee shall bow every tongue must confess hallelujah jesus thank you lord i need y'all to catch this that mat that you have been laying on who that depression, that oppression, that, that, that spirit that is daunting you, that is taunting you, that is tormenting you, that spirit that you are laying up under. Maybe you are one who have lost all of the things that 
you feel like God has given you, it has been stripped away from you. You're down to nothing. Maybe you are one who is constantly battling in your mind. Maybe you are a double-minded man or woman who is unstable in all of your ways. You don't know if you're coming or you're going. Maybe you have lost your husband or your wife. Maybe you have lost a child. Oh my God, and you are dealing with depression. Maybe, just maybe, you are dealing with some childhood experiences. Some that have been taunting you for many years. I'm talking about this certain man. Get this, y'all. He had a, 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 a issue for 38 years. This certain man, he was ill for 38 years. The Bible didn't say what type of illness this man had. For all we know, this man was laying there with depression. For all we know, this man could have been laying there with suicidal ideation. For all we know, this man could have been sick in his body. For all we know, this man's mind could have been being tormented. Oh my God. Jesus Christ, the son of the living God, he's saying to some of you, take up your mat and walk. Take up your mat and walk, sister. Take up your mat and walk, brother. Release that thing. Stir up the spirit. Begin to praise ye the Lord. Begin to call upon Jesus' name. Begin to fast. Begin to pray. Because one thing we must understand, that when the angel of the Lord came and stirred up the water, he began to stir up gifts of healing. He began to stir up a spirit of release. He began to stir up a spirit of, 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 of letting go. My God. I need you to catch this man or woman. You're going to have to stir up that spirit. See, when this man doubted Jesus, just my God, this man doubted. He said, I don't have nobody to pick me up and put me up in the water. Jesus asked him one question. Do you desire, and I'm, I'm paraphrasing this, to be made whole? Do you want to be healed? And, 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 and when Jesus saw that this man had been sick with this disease, Jesus told him, you know what? <laughs> you are healed. And Jesus is saying to many of us, take up your mat and walk. Let go of the spirit of depression. You are an overcomer. Hold on, y'all. That thing that you have been struggling with maybe is an addiction. Maybe you're addicted to sex. Maybe you're addicted to pornography. Maybe you are addicted to women or men. Maybe you are just addicted to whatever substance it is that is causing you to, ab to abuse it. Jesus is saying, take up your mat son or daughter and walk you shall no longer have to endure this thing you will no longer have to endure this thing all of my requirement is that you trust me all i'm asking for you to do is have faith in me all i'm asking for you to do is stir up the spirit and we must understand that when the spirit of the living god is stirred up the holy ghost begins to come down it begins to descend upon us it begins to fall upon us and once the holy spirit is stirred up once we receive what the holy spirit desires for us to receive we we receive our healing. We're able to walk up. I mean, walk up righteously. We're able to walk up tall. We're able to walk up strong. We're able to do the things of the Lord. All Jesus is requiring is faith. 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 The size of a mustard seed. And when you have faith, my sister or my brother, that test that you are going through becomes your testimony. That testimony becomes somebody else's help. My Jesus, you're not understanding me. I need you to get this. When the people, when the angel came, he came at a certain time. Understand this. So when Jesus is waking you up, when God is waking you up at two, three, four, five in the morning, get up out your bed and walk that floor. Get up out that bed and pray. Get up out that bed and just begin to cry out to the Father. Begin to cry out to King Jesus because the Holy Ghost is trying to stir some stuff up. Your release is in the atmosphere. Your release is coming down.
down from heaven. God is trying to open up a window from heaven and he's trying to pour you out a blessing where there will not be enough room to receive it. But you got to be in the receiving position. What is the receiving position? Stirring up the spirit. What is the re receiving position? Trusting in the Lord. What is the receiving position? Laying up on that mat, getting up when the Lord says move. What is the receiving position? Fasting and praying. What is the receiving position? Crying out to the Holy Spirit. Trusting God. Stirring up the spirit. Hear me out. Just like Jesus told that man with a certain issue, take up your bed and walk. Jesus is saying to you that depression is no more. Them suicidal ideations is no more. That oppression is no more. That addiction is no more. The affliction is no more. God is saying that you must trust me. Stir up the spirit. Stir it up. Stir it up. Stir it up. I hear the Holy Ghost saying, stir me up. Stir it up. Trust me. Trust me. And watch me move mountains. Trust me. Watch me do some things in your life. Trust me. And watch me heal you and deliver you of that thing that have been you have been battling for all of these years see that man that was battling for 38 years all Jesus knew is that he had been battling for a very long time and he told him take up your cross in order for that man to take up his cross he had to have some form of faith he had to have some form of faith and he took up his cross and the bible says that he was healed and on the day upon taking up his cross, the people began to mumble and grumble. And they began to say, it is the Sabbath day. You ain't supposed to take up your mat. But how many of you know that God don't have a time when he desires to do things? It's in his timing. It's not on people's timing. It's not when we think that it should happen. It's when the Lord says that it should happen. So I want to challenge you, my sister or my brother, to take up your mat and walk. Trust God. Stir up the spirit. Stir it up. Stir it up. Stir it up. Stir up the spirit and watch Jesus begin to do some miraculous things in your life. So if you are one who are struggling with whatever it is that you are struggling with, I want to challenge you to trust in the Lord. Lean not to your own understanding, but in all your ways, acknowledge him and he will direct your paths. Until we meet again, my sister or my brother, I love you with the love of Christ Jesus. Bye for now.